Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I just am here, the creator and writer of the Honestly Sis newsletter, a bi-weekly newsletter geared towards millennials who are truly trying to get their shit together. And I am here for another daily motivational video where we use the tarot to become the alchemist of our lives. A little bit about me. I do not just use the tarot. I use God and Custis in the same sentence. And I may mispronounce some things, but if it does not stop Charlemagne the God, it will not stop me. So, hey guys, how you doing? As you see, I was kind of shuffling up as we were going. Um, and the two cards that came out is anger and stops. Oh, with rejection. Um, anger and stop. These are two, um, right away, these are two red cards. So this has to do with your root chakra. Um, so maybe there is, okay. So maybe uh, just quickly picking up on this. Uh, maybe there are things that make you angry that you don't want to look at. And instead of looking at those things, um, you reject them and you push them down. Um, and God is saying, stop doing that because he's trying to have you to have this illumination. He's trying to have you move past it. And in order for you to move past it, you need to look at the information that life is trying to give you. So God is saying, um, stop rejecting what you're feeling um and allow yourself to feel your feelings but don't take my word for it engine number 124 i'm gonna get some more uh, messages i'm gonna see what this is all right so let's start with anger this card, this card represents an acknowledgement that anger is a natural uh, part of life. It is okay to feel angry, but what, but what can you do with the immersion? But what can you do with the immersion, immersive amount of energy that comes with it? How can you transform anger into something helpful or useful for others? And so I feel like what God is saying, like instead of pushing down the things that are bothering you or pushing down your anger, like find ways to channel it. Um, one thing that I've definitely been working on and one thing that I learned last summer, angel, two, uh, angel number 217, is like whatever I'm feeling, like I really try to, especially when I'm like angry or it's like a high end emotion, if possible, I try to like put that, like I was, well, I was working on my book last year. So it was like, I would write a scene and just put that anger or whatever I'm feeling into my work. So I don't know, like how that will work for you. Um, if you're not a writer, um, maybe, uh, uh, I want to say maybe like you do songs or something, but I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like what God is saying is that you need to find a way to transmute your anger. Um, whether it's like you going to a boxing class to just let it out. Cause they were saying like, you have all this extra energy or whether it's like you are dancing or whether you just say it out loud, like say what you're feeling. And I do that. Like, I'll just speak out loud because it's like, what God is trying to get you to understand is that if you don't, if you don't release that energy, that energy is going to stay down inside. Like you're rejecting it and you pushing it down. It just keeps it there until the next thing come up and then it all come erupting up. So God is saying it's very important for you to figure out ways to transmute your, your energy and also knowing that when you feel negative emotions like anger, jealousy, envy, whatever, that it's not a bad emotion, but you should really look, stop, look at it and ask it, what is it trying to tell you? For the uh, stop card, it says this card asks you to stop and reflect, collect your thoughts, or maybe even take a break. It may be a good time to think about what stop, what's stop. What stopping might mean to you? Is it a stop? Is it a forever stop? Is it a pause? Is it time to move forward or simply move in a different direction? And so I feel like that's what God is saying. Like with your emotions, like when they're coming up, like if something like anger is coming up, God is saying, stop and ask, like, why do you feel so angry? What is it? How can you pinpoint um, why you're so angry? Why is this evoking your emotions? And maybe if you can figure out why it is evoking that emotions, instead of rejecting it, you can find a way to integrate it into your life so that you can be better. I feel like this is just, it's so important for you to just transmute your emotions. So whether if that's you journaling, um, whether you talking it out with a therapist or a friend, engine number 444, I just feel like God is saying it's necessary for you to look at your emotions. I feel like I say that all the time, though. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like that's all the time. But maybe he's saying, like, for your negative emotions, it's super okay. 
Um, and then also like with this stop, with this this energy of stop. Um, last week we got this message to stop rushing. And then stop came out. Like, what does that mean to you? What does stop? It's just like what it said. What does stop mean for you? If I, if, if, if you are watching, if I'm watching this video or as I'm doing this and it's telling me to stop, how would I apply that to my life? I think it was telling me to stop worrying, to stop panicking so much, to stop feeling like I'm in this place of rejection, like just knowing that God still has my back, knowing that God hasn't forgot about me just because I don't see the blessing. It doesn't mean that it's here. So stop worrying, like allow your feel, you know, cause I was angry. Damn. I have been angry because I feel like, well, I've been working so hard and it doesn't seem like nothing is changing. It seems like shit is getting worse, not even getting worse, but it's like, I I've been, like kind of fixated that this one area of my life isn't changing and it has been making me feel like well damn maybe I'm not doing the right thing or what more can I be doing and God is like stop like stop all of that and just trust that you're doing the best you can do um and if I really be honest like it's really because I just don't like the job I don't like the people I work with I don't I just don't I don't care about it you know and it's like at this at, at this point when I was um, the realization that I had is that I'm tired of pretending. I used to pretend a lot. I used to fake it a lot when I made it. And that made me realize, oh, yeah, all of this faking got you into this job that really is nothing, is not not even close to a reflection of who you truly are on the inside. And so it's like, stop feeling bad for myself and just focus on what I need to do. But I don't know what that message could be for you. Like, what do you, I really want you to think about this message of stop and what does that mean for you? What do you need to stop? What is the anger? What anger came up? What angered you or what um, made you mad? What fear uh, you need to face? Um, what have you been rejecting? What needs to grow? What does stop mean for you? I, but I really want you to focus on the stop. Stop in the anger. What are you rejecting? What do you need to give more space to? Okay. Um... Let's do a message from the universe. All right, God, archangels, beings of light. What do you want to say to us about this message of anger, stop, rejection? What are you trying to get us to understand about this message of anger, stop, rejection? Why do we need to stop and pay attention to our anger instead of rejecting it away? Why is it so important for us to listen to our emotions? Why is it so important for us to slow down sometimes and to trust that everything is okay? Right, two cards came out. See me in their eyes. Whenever, um, whenever com conferring, whenever conferring with another, either face to face or across miles, either a human being, departed spirit, or a sentimental tree. Always speak to them with, uh, to the highest within them. It makes a difference. So, um, see me in their eyes. Uh, I feel like what God is saying is, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, instead of being angry at certain people, being angry at certain behaviors, God is saying, stop and see them in my eyes. Stop and see that this is really just a reflection, not even like a reflection of you, but just stop and realize that how people treat you is really a reflection of how they deeply feel inside. And so it's like, don't even allow them to get you angry. Don't even allow them to have that power, reject that energy away from, from you. Like if you, if you're in your workplace and people People are trying to, you know, lower, you know, demean you, demoralize you, talk down to you. Or even if you out in the world and you find, you run across races and all of that shit, God is saying, stop. Don't allow that anger to get in you. Just reject it and see it, see them for who they are. And they are some lost souls who don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, I heart you is the final message. If everyone, if everyone really knew how much they were loved, not from above, but from those now in their lives, There'll be little hearts drawn on every um, on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets and so and so and so look forward to that day. And I so look forward to that day. I heart you. Um, and so also don't be misled. For some reason, I was just getting um, I was just getting this energy that for some for someone um, it's a relationship type thing. Um, 
where you're very angry with a person and God is, you're, you're very angry with the person. You feel like they rejected you and God is saying, stop, you know, really see things from their eyes. Um, don't be misled. That person loves you a lot. Angel number 1010. It's just like some people just don't have the space and the capability to love you how you need to be loved. Um, so God is saying, you know, just, it's like, don't have, just don't take shit personal. That's why I get, don't take things personal. All right. Um, let's get you guys a work your life and I'm going to get y'all on out of here. All right, God, clarify this message of anger, stop, rejection. See me in their eyes. I heart you and don't be misled. God, what do you want us to know about this message? Please allow no room for doubt or confusion. Please wrap up this message in a beautiful bow. In God's name I pray. All right, this is my last one to let me. No, I got one more. I'm going to do one more in a second. Last message, God. No doubt or confusion. warrior woman have you answered your deeper calling your deepest calling so god is saying stop instead of fighting every battle that you come across instead of fighting for world peace and all that other stuff have you even answered your deepest calling uh take the leap you go first and the universe will catch you boundaries where do you need to establish more boundaries i feel like this message of um warrior woman um have you answered deepest calling and where do you need to set boundaries maybe that's why you're so angry uh maybe you're feeling rejected because you are um giving 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 someone love and resources that they wouldn't even give you access to so maybe you need to set some boundaries um but the card that i'm actually going to focus on is a uh, warrior woman Have you answered your deepest calling? Maybe that's why you're so angry and that's maybe why you feel rejected. Because you haven't answered your deepest calling. That's why God is saying, don't be misled. Don't be cut y'all be cussing God out and it's be y'all. <laughs> y'all be so mean to my God. Angel number 12, 22. Let me stop being possessive. I'm a little possessive. I love God though. Y'all be so mean to him. Be cussing him out and don't be doing shit. Don't be doing your work. Gonna be doing what you're supposed to be doing when you be mad at God. All right, so this is something for you to think about. You are here for a reason. You are being called to bravely path pave a path. Have you answered your highest and deepest calling? Living a heart and soul filled life is not all fluff and smooth sailing. Living a heart and soul led life requires courage to triumph over fear. So often, our fears are the gatekeepers to our greatest gifts. And the more resistance we have towards answering that call, the more important it is for our soul growth. Sometimes, sometimes fear is an indication that we are facing the right way. Jonah of Arc was known for her courage and her famous line, I'm not afraid I was born to do this. But the thing about courage is that it is not possible without fear. So if you are feeling afraid, what is needed is courage. And the courage can come from living from the heart. Think of your fears as opportunities to expand rather than things that are holding you hostage. If you look at your fears in this light, then as comfortable as you feel, it's actually a sign that you're on the right track. Ah! Angel number 3142, have you answered your deepest calling? And if you have not, God is telling you to take the leap and he will catch you. So honestly, I feel like what God is saying is that um, maybe you may be feeling a lot of uh, anger. You may be feeling rejected by God. You may be feeling like God has forgotten about you. But God is asking, have you answered your deepest calling? Before you get mad at God, he's saying, stop. <laughs> Before you get mad at God, age of number 1411, and blame him for you not living the life that you, you feel you're supposed to lead. God is asking, have you done everything that you need to do? Yes or no? And if you haven't, then stop and go do the work. Take the leap and the universe will catch you. Last thing is trust the, trust the niggle 
What is the niggle trying to tell you? Trust the intuition. Trust your voice on the inside. Um, be that warrior woman and answer that inner calling. Really open up space. Like, y'all, don't talk shit about God if you're not even trying to bring your dreams to life. You can't beat him up if you are not actively participating. And so if you have not answered your deepest calling um, and you have been feeling a lot of anger, you've been feeling rejected by God, feeling like God forgot about you, God is saying, stop, answer your deepest calling. And watch me bring it all about. All right, y'all. I don't like how I ended that, but I will end it. Um, know that God loves you. Um, and don't be misled just because um, you don't see the blessings yet. Take the leap. Answer your deepest calling. And all of life will work out for you. All right? I think so. That's it. That's all the messages I have for you. If you made it to the end of this message, please give me a thumbs up. Until we meet again, dream those dreams. Never let the internet rush you and never, ever let someone tell you what you cannot do. Namaste. Angel number 1533. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. And if you want to donate, all of that information is down below. See you soon.